Hello, friends. Mike Adams here with Learn Audacity. Someone recently commented on my site here and asked the question, is Audacity compatible with Isotope or is Isotope compatible with Audacity? In other words, the plugins that are available in Isotope, can they be used in Audacity? My answer is going to be yes and no. Let me explain what I mean. In this screen that I have open here before us, you can see that I've got some real-time effects on here. I've got them all turned off at the moment, but these are RX10, Isotope RX10 effects or plugins that I've uh, put on this track. And I'm going to show you what my version of Audacity does. By the way, I'm on the latest and greatest as of this recording. So I'm on the latest production version, 3.5.0. And I am having some problems when I start to load up uh, isotope plugins, isotope effects. And let me show you what they are. I'm going to press space bar and just play through this little bit of audio for a couple of seconds. Again, I don't have any plugins turned on, but I want to show you that it works just fine without the plugins turned on. So here's the space bar. So this is the audio that I'm recording. We're laying down a track here just so that we have something on the screen so that we can play around with it. So it looks good, right? It looks fine. Well, as I begin to enable these uh, plugins, these isotope plugins. Let me pre press the space bar again and see what it does. So this is the audio that I'm recording. We're laying down a track here just so that we have something. Again, that's fine. No problem. The audio plays nice and smooth, but let's enable a second one here and let me press the space bar again. So this is the audio that I'm recording. We're laying down a track here just so that we have something on the screen so that we can play. Still, it looks pretty good. Let's enable another one and press the space bar. So this is the audio that I'm recording. We're laying down a track here just so that we have something on the screen so that we can play around. Still no problem, right? I'm going to press Command S to save this. And let's enable this last one here that I've got and press the space bar. So this is the audio that I'm recording. We're laying down a track here just so that we have something on the screen so that we can play around with it. Did you see what it's doing there? Did you see how the playhead is stuttering? It's going back and forth. It's having kind of a hard time uh, just playing through it smoothly. It seems like the more isotope plugins that I put in Audacity as I stack a chain, that Audacity has a hard time keeping up with it. Now, if you do all of your editing in advance without any plugins installed, by editing I mean you've removed all your bad content, your ums, your your fault starts and, you know, everything that goes along with that. You've cleaned up the noise and everything that you can do prior to putting effects on it. It'll be fine. But then when you enable the effects, or you can enable the effects then after you edit, and it'll play through fine. But if you try and edit your waveform with uh, more than, I would say, more than two or three isotope effects on it, it's going to really be a problem for you because. The, again, the playhead's going to skip around. It's going to pause, at least on my system. I'm on a 2021 or 2022 MacBook Pro with an M1 processor. I've not had this, I don't have this problem with any other effects. It just seems to be isotope. Again, if I'm going to edit with these effects on here, it's going to give me a lot of problems. I'm not going to be able to do it. So let me also mention that uh, I have had Audacity crash on me. As soon as I push play, when I get more than three or four isotope effects on it, it will crash when I press the space bar or when I press play. And uh, I send the report in every time that it does that. But that gets a little frustrating. If I disable the isotope effects, it doesn't crash. It doesn't do anything. doesn't act abnormal at all. But let me press the space bar again with these all on here and check out the playhead again. So this is the audio that I'm recording. We're laying down a track here just so that we have something on the screen so that we can play around with it. And let's go maybe. So the way that that thing stutters across there, it's not only annoying, it makes it impossible to really know where you, where you are at any moment in the waveform. So is Isotope, are Isotope plugins or effects compatible with Audacity version 3.5.0? Yes and no. That's still my answer, yes and no. If you feel brave enough, 
but it might crash on you. Make sure you save and save often. But here's a bigger question. If you have paid for Isotope, you've put the money out for Isotope, you've bought the program, why wouldn't you use the program? Why bring those plugins into Audacity and try and use them here when there does seem to be a compatibility issue? And again, it might just be my system. Maybe yours doesn't do this. But there seems to be a compatibility issue when I can just, once I'm done editing, if I want to edit in Audacity and I want to, once I'm done editing in Audacity, I want to export my project as a WAV file, which I, I would advise keeping it in WAV format as long as you can because it's lossless. So if I exported this into Isotope and put my effects on it there, again, my question is, why wouldn't you do that? Check this out. Here's the Isotope screen with this same waveform, which I did export out of Audacity and then import it into Isotope. I've got all of my effects here in the right-hand column. I can set a, a chain up here, and I can put my effects in it or on it right here in Isotope. So if my preference is to edit in Audacity, do your editing there. But if you own Isotope, you might consider importing that that exported WAV file into Isotope and put your effects on it here. So just a thought, this is what I do. And uh, you might want to start doing that as well. So, hey, that's all I've got for you in this riveting episode of Learn Audacity. I hope this helps answer some of your questions about Isotope. RX11 is coming out soon. So be sure and check out their site, isotope.com. No, I'm not affiliated with them in any way but it's a good product and I promote good products. So I'll let you go. And until next time, y'all take care.